Hello, you guys. So, this is take two. Um, the other one, I felt like I was just talking way too much. And let me just get straight to the point, okay? Cash envelopes. Do I like it or don't I, you know? So, let's get into it. <coughs> I, I like it. And the reason for that is because I would find myself swiping just because I'm like, oh, the money's there. Swipe, swipe, swipe. And you don't have that mental or that emotional connection. <laughs> I, that's what I feel like. It's not an emotional connection. You don't feel like you're losing it. You know, when it's when stuff is face to face, it's harder to to let go. OK, that's how I think of it. And y'all can everybody is different. But I like it. And my son is on board, which is awesome. So I appreciate that. So let's go over these these uh, categories. So first one is fun. You guys can see I have 20 bucks left. The amount is 50 bucks per month. Now, mind you, I did start this on February. February 15th. So when Thursday, when I get paid, it'll be officially two weeks. And so I still have this much left. And that was because, you know, we went to Black Panther movie. So that was that. And that's what we still have left over out of 50 bucks, which is, is not bad at all. <laughs> um, it's more than half still left. All right. So house items, um, the amount is 20 bucks a month. We have what six bucks left and um and i will say some of that is because um i don't know why i wrote everything down what i bought though but that one it's not a lot of money but still it's household items i think i bought like garbage oh yeah garbage bags and stuff like that so the next one is outing. Now, this one is not a spending one, more or less. It's more like saving up for something big like a trip. But this one is 20 bucks a month. So I still have the 20 bucks in there. Laundry. Um, if you guys didn't watch the previous videos, um, there was an Amazon uh, thing about my compact washer. So this one is 20 bucks a month, and it's still 20 bucks in here. Um, because I, I must say, I still have, I still have a lot of quarters left. Um, and now that I'm doing laundry from home, all I, if I really, really want to, I would just only have to put the clothes in the dryer. Because I can wash everything here except for like, you know, my bed stuff, which I will still have to go to the laundromat for. So I am thinking about changing this down to 10 bucks a month. That's what I'm thinking. We shall see. Okay. This one is food out. 50 bucks a month. There's nothing left in this one. And I blame myself. The reason for that is because a couple days ago, it was just on a whim. I don't know what I was feeling. I must have been feeling some type of way. I'm like, I need to treat myself or something. I don't know. Anyways, I was just looking online. I was like, let me go on Grubhub. Never ordered on Grubhub before, but I ordered $30 worth of food on Grubhub for Chinese food. Now, I look back at it, and I'm like, I could have just went to the Chinese place that I always go to and could have got the same, almost the stuff that me and my son like for, what, 12 bucks. But time has passed. That means... We don't have no more money for food eating out, which I was really debating if I was going to take it from this amount because me and my son did not, like, discuss it. You know what I mean? It was just me doing it on a whim. And then, big bucks. This is the 150 This is for groceries. And we have, you see that, $54 left, which... I think that's pretty, pretty good. Um, considering that this is 150 per month. Um, not per month, but 150 per... 150 per paycheck. Now, I think I can bring this down to $100 per paycheck. 
We'll see. We'll see. Um, really quick, if uh, I'm watching other videos and see what people do. And I'm debating about what I want to do. Because obviously I have money left over on some of these. Like this one is per is twice per month, right? This is the only one that's twice per, per month. Everything else is $50 for like, you know, once a month. And I started February, what, February 15th. So I'm really trying to figure out how I'm going to start March off. Should I start March off fresh? You know what I mean? That's what I'm thinking about doing. Because it's it really more or less me getting used to what we should do with our money. And um, we're going to be driving down to Miami to save money for our cruise. So I was thinking about even like the money that's left over from like these different categories. Even right now. I would put it into the outing one for gas while we're, you know, going down to Miami. Miami from Richmond is like, what, 12, 13 hours, <clears throat> which is not bad, but that's 13 hours away. Um, so it's not going to be a lot of gas. It's almost like the same amount for me going to upstate New York where I'm from. Well, nah, it's a little bit more hours, but still... I'm thinking, that's what I'm thinking about doing. Let me know if you guys think that's a smart idea. Take it out and put it into this one, which is a saving one for outing. And this will go towards, like, our gas for driving down to Miami um, for our cruise. But I really am thinking about starting this whole thing over fresh. Um this upcoming for March just so I can give it a fresh start and give you guys um like starting off you know filling the cash envelopes for the full month and being from there so we'll see how that goes I uh, will speak with you guys later um uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your evening whenever you guys are watching this is uh, my nap it's my bedtime right now so I have to get up for CKO in the morning but I'll talk with you guys later all right bye bye